Joining us now live for the interview is former Secretary of State, former First Lady, former Senator, 2016 Democratic <laughs> presidential nominee Hillary Clinton. She has a new book out this week with her daughter, Chelsea Clinton. It is called The Book of Gutsy Women, Favorite Stories of Courage and Resilience. It is currently topping the charts, having just come out this week. <laughs> Secretary Clinton, great How to see you. How are you? It's great to have Good you Good to here. see you, Rachel. The last time... Um, you were here. The Mueller report had just come out, and I asked you how you were doing, and you said, personally, things were great, but you said, as an American, you were feeling, and I quote, oh, my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Are you still feeling, oh, my gosh? Oh, my gosh. Now, 10 alarm, oh, my goshes. Really? Uh, yeah, look, I mean, I think this incredible series of events that we are living through right now are overwhelming in their intensity and, and velocity. But they also are so sad and distressing to have a government that is now engaged in uh, behavior that puts our national security at risk in order to further the president's personal and political interests. Uh, it is tragic. Uh, so everything you're doing and others who are actually reporting on it is uh, so necessary. In terms of the national security risk here, obviously what the president did and has sort of copped to because it's, mm -hmm. it's there in the mm -hmm. White House records that were released uh, tells us something about what he was trying to do. But in terms of the danger here, um, the president did put our support for Ukraine in a way that made it contingent. Mm -hmm. He also has de seemingly deliberately reduced public impressions that the U.S. supported Ukraine. He right. denied them a White House visit until mm -hmm. he could promise that they could, he could get what he wanted. Mm -hmm. Why is that dangerous? What can you tell the American people watching right now about why it's important for us to support Ukraine? Well, first of all, look at what he did. He obviously used taxpayer-funded assistance passed by the Congress on a bipartisan basis mm -hmm. to both threaten and intimidate the new president of Ukraine uh, to investigate his political opponents for the purpose of advancing his own reelection. Now, that has so many elements in it, and it's one of the reasons why I think it's broken through to the American people. It also is troubling that Ukraine has been a subject of constant pressure from Vladimir Putin uh, and the Russian interests in Ukraine. So you have the Trump administration, the president, the vice president, others, actually pressuring, pressuring a new president who has a part of his country invaded and occupied by Russian troops and putting this poor new president in this vice. You think you're going to get military aid from us? Well, we have a favor to ask of you. Now, we know that the aggressiveness of Putin uh, has been unchecked and, in fact, I would argue uh, actually accelerated in both rhetoric and potential adverse actions to our interests because mm. of what uh, Trump has uh, made clear that he supports and looks to Vladimir Putin. So Ukraine is a, a very specific example of what is at stake. But I don't think it's the only example uh, that we could find if we looked at the transcripts of the calls with Vladimir Putin, for example. Mm. We still have no notes, no reporting about the many meetings and the many calls. We do know that in the Oval Office early in his term, Trump basically said to the foreign secretary of Russia, uh, Sergei Lavrov, to the then ambassador, Kislyak, hey, I don't mind that interference in the election, wink, wink. So this is about Ukraine, but Ukraine is the canary in the coal mine about what this president and his allies have been up to. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.